All right, I'm at a Target now. I was looking for the um, the four pack Worlds Collide. I don't see it, but um, that's new. Not yet. She's got her. You gotta get an inspiration. Yeah, no luck on that. Oh. T-Rex. All right, coming down the Star Wars section real quick, and um, yeah, nothing here. Well, today the new Lego sets were supposed to come out, but they don't have any hung out right now. All right, guys, I'm now outside a second Target, so I'm gonna run in there real quick, see if they got the new Lego sets and if they've got the Worlds Collide four pack, because the last Target was a big bust. No sign of it, unfortunately. Some new Spider-Man toys, though. All right, I'm currently just kind of hanging out, waiting for them to bring the new Lego sets out. I did pick up the uh, Mandalorian fighter and this little Captain America set. Uh, I should be getting the Thor house and the What If set. They should be bringing out and the Bad Bad Shuttle, so I'll let you guys know if everything All right, I'm at a third target now, looking for the new Lego sets. I picked up the Mandalorian fighter, the throne room, and the what-if set at that last target, so hoping to find the rest here. We just got that set. And they got no new Star Wars sets at all. I might go ask, see if I can find some, find out if they're coming out. As far as the actual uh, toy section goes, it's um pretty sad looking. All right, Trap. Thank you. Same story for the Star Wars section here. Nothing new. All right, I'm stopping in a Walmart real quick. It's on the way to another Target. They got that uh, Captain America. Pull a lot of the bad guys wave. Star Wars, they just got those um, retro figures. A whole bunch of Baby Yodas. Um, just some repacks uh, or whatever. They just restock wave one. And some other random stuff, but nothing new. Um, this place has a pretty good section though, and some Power Rangers. Nothing new though. Um, I think the Lego section is over here. Um, uh, not seeing anything. Um, this is on sale, it says. I might scan and see if it's any cheaper than 60 bucks, but um, nothing else here. All right, I'm in a Walmart currently. I'm picking up a bunch of Lego sets, but I'll show you that in a second. I'm in the actual toy aisle here. Um, I got all wave one of the kingdom. Some red figures. I don't see Starscream, who's the only one I think I'd probably pick up out of those. They got some G.I. Joe stuff. Just a couple legends. Got an ATSD driver, a bunch of that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Just to show you, here's their Lego section. Uh, it's actually in the back. Uh, they have a whole bunch of other stuff out, but here's what they got in here. They've got that set. I ordered that one on Lego.com though, so I hope it gets to me soon. And the Star Wars sets are all down here. Um, I think they got pretty much all of them, but I am getting the last Bad Bad Shuttle and I'm getting the Marauder. I'm getting this what if set, but that's gonna be my haul for the day, I think. What is going on, guys? I am at a totally new Target I've never been to before. I don't really know if they've got these guys. Um, those people. Iron Man. Yeah, not too much. Quick look at this aisle, but there's really not much. Just, um, Han and Luke, of course, those are the only two that are always Quick look at the Lego section. They have a UCS R2-D2, that's weird for them to have. AT-AT. Um, and then Marvel. They've got this set. I've got this set coming from Lego. They've got this set, which I think is apparently $40 here. Um, they might be able to price match that. And they got the what if set. Right, I'm now at a totally new Walmart I've never been to. Um, all restocks of Wave 1 stuff. So. Nothing but Cheetor down there. 
yeah, there's really everywhere. It's just been empty lately. Um, some far from home toys. I don't really care about something there. Mando with Blurg. Uh, a whole bunch of that, but that's all I see really. Not a Walmart. Got that thing. Our Walmart. Here's their uh, Transformer section. They got these new figures there. I'll wave one up there. Here's their like G.I. Joe section, but it's really sad looking. I feel bad for any kids that watched that movie and really liked it because there's just no toys available. Um, there's so much Shang-Chi stuff on the, the shelves though. It's kind of, yeah, I don't know if that bodes well for the movie or not. Uh, looks like they got rid of all their Shang-Chi legends though. That's kind of surprising. They must've been clearance. Um, and they got these, they got Spider-Man. Mysterio, the black and gold suit. Those are the only three, I guess. Yeah. The aisle finally cleared out. There's people all over here. But anyways, I'm picking this up because it's only 15 bucks. Um, I kind of wanted this set, but then the Star Wars section is looking pretty sad. You can see they did restock on a whole bunch of the um, Lego sets, obviously. So far, so I know this toy hunt's been kind of all over the place, but uh, so far the only Lego sets I don't have yet are this thing. Um, 150 bucks, that is tempting, but I have the old ones, so I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. I don't have that one, and I don't have the Slave one, which I think is over there too. But it's cool to see all the Lego sets on shelves. You can see they've got a fully stocked Star Wars section as well. Mando Starfighter. Um, see, they're missing a couple. They're missing the X-Wing TIE Fighter. No Moff Gideon ship. This is the only Star Wars set I don't have because I have the old one. I only want him, so I'm not paying for the whole thing. Um, that's a. Uh, what's up there? Just some extra sets. But yeah, not really. Not really any luck. Here's this kind of section. They got Oscar. Phyllis. I've just kind of been super busy over the past couple months and I've just randomly recorded when I've gone to stores. But the main thing I've been looking for lately is the like Lego sets because all the new ones came out recently. I pretty much got all of them except for like one or two. But anyways, like I said, I'm like all over the place in this way hunt. But anyways, I'm at another Walmart and I might hit a couple stores today and then this is probably gonna be it. And then it'll probably go up. Also, this is probably gonna be my last toy hunt in a pretty long time because I do go off to college next week. So maybe I'll hit up some stores down there. I never know. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in Walmart. Definitely rearranged in this Walmart. But uh, here's their um, sad looking Star Wars section. Every Walmart got a million one of these, I guess. And they just got those two figures left. Um, they got those randomly thrown there. Man, even their Marvel section is pretty small. They got some No Way Home stuff out. Fucking Winter Soldier figure. And then so much, so much Shang-Chi stuff up there. And like nothing else. And then let's see here. It's just the same stuff. Oh my goodness. What was even the point of this reset? You know what I mean? There's like nothing new. Nothing new. Let's hear those with all Ultra Magnuses, of course. Looks like they have most of the new Lego sets out. Nothing on sale though. Same thing. Looks like they have most of the Marvel sets out. Um, I was definitely hoping for like Clarence or something, but I'm not really seeing much. They got the Guardians ship and Moff Gideon's Cruiser. I have Gideon's Cruiser. I haven't picked up um, this Guardian ship, but they got that set too. I gotta look around and see maybe if I can find a clearance section because I was really hoping to, you know, find some sets on sale. Here's their collectible section, but uh, it's looking like, you know, same stuff that's been everywhere lately. Yeah, there's like, it's all like all the same stuff, so. Whatever. Well, I did find the clearance section, but uh, nothing here. Um, oh my goodness. This is from Force Awakens from 2015. 
still there for 12 bucks <laughs> if it was like i don't know 50 cents or something maybe i'd buy it but yeah their clearing section's empty wherever those are yeah walmart was kind of a bust uh this is walmart usually i never have any kind of good luck with but um anyways there's a gamestop right here my favorite gamestop i do have to trade in a playstation 4 because i got my ps5 so i'm gonna trade that in and just kind of hang out there for a little while so hopefully i find some cool stuff i don't think it's out yet but i hope they have the dark saber because i actually got my um didn't jar on helmet the other day so i really want the dark saber so i kind of doubt they have it but hopefully gamestop.com or the gamestop youtube channel i'm julian and i'm vanessa We're seeing Thanks for they got some what if pops that's cool So many Funko Pops. Um, Transmutate, model kit. Couple things there. No dark saber, unfortunately. All customers wear face masks or face covering in stores located in areas of substantial or high levels of community surge. As like a whole bunch of cows here. We also encourage all customers to use the hand sanitizing station found in each store. Just got the got, got out of GameStop, got the PS4 traded in. I ended up going with store credit. It was like 25 bucks more, but I don't know if you can see it back here. I got the um Asajj Ventures Black Series lightsaber. They had it on clearance for like a hundred bucks. So I figured I'd I figure hundred bucks for a Black Series lightsaber is pretty good. So I got that and then uh, and then I was an extra 25 bucks off when you think I could basically have $25 of GameStop credit now because I got that extra 25 bucks from doing store credit. But anyways, yeah, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So in my mind now, it's only, you know, $75. But anyways, uh, I'm going to set up a second Charles. Uh, I was hoping maybe to pick up some like posters or something to put in my dorm room because I move in on Monday. But yeah, I got a guys whole Star Wars there. section here up front, which is nice to see. I see a really cool piece of artwork there. Moff Gideon for 23 bucks, not terrible. Some random stuff, it's cool. They got this whole whole big section here. Some Thrawn books, the Darksaber, cool stuff. Obviously they've got a ton of Funko Pops here. I feel like they gotta be close to having like every Funko Pop ever. Ooh. To my I really want, really, really, really want King Shark from Suicide Squad. I hope I can find him. Actually, I just spotted these. Oh my god. I used to have all of these as a kid. Whoa. Yeah, oh my goodness. How much are these? Ten bucks. Yeah, I totally had all of these, without a doubt. Oh, that's so cool. I do miss these things. These things were awesome. Yeah, they like lit up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm now back home. Uh, I'm just kind of chilling out now. I was just going to show off the posters that I picked up from my dorm real quick at Second and Charles. I uh, was kind of stuff going on, so I didn't record too much in there. So, yeah. All right, so I picked up two posters from Second and Charles. I think they were like six or seven bucks. I don't know. Anyways, I got this first one. Uh, it's got all the different Star Wars movies on it. It's really cool looking. I, I really like this one, actually. I I don't know. If it's at Second and Charles, I would totally recommend you guys get it. It looks super cool. Um, and then the second one I got if it'll stay up, is uh, this like Infinity Saga thing with all the Marvel posters on. But yeah, I hope that'd be super cool. As you can see, I'm uh, getting packed up. I leave in a couple days. So yeah. The other main thing that I picked up on my toy hunt was this, was the Ventress lightsaber. Um, let's see what I... Uh, it's super cool. Um, I ended up getting it because it was like, came out to be like, I don't know, like literally like $100 only. Um, like, and then I said at the PS4 trade in. So I picked this up. The only thing that I don't really like about it is the blade can't be detached. Um, I've got all these other ones up here. All those, and this one can't really fit with them, unfortunately. This is more like the old style one, but I still do really like it. But anyways, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's toy hunt. Like I said, this might be the last toy hunt for a pretty long time, which kind of, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to be in a couple months. But anyways, yeah, I want to just say thank you all so much for watching me over the past couple of months. Thank you to everyone who's, you know, followed my Instagram over the past couple of years. Um, this is definitely not the end for the Trooper Tricks thing. I hope to keep this going. But thank you all so much um, for watching this. And I, if you're interested, I should have a room tour, an updated version, coming out pretty soon. Uh, I kind of wanted to do one last thing for my channel. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching again. And have a great rest of your day.